If you had to go live on a remote island for six months with just one other person, who would you want to live with? Hi, my name is Julie and welcome to my YouTube channel where I help parents and teachers find the next right book for their 8 to 12 year old reader. If videos like these are helpful, you can click that subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on future videos. And if you like today's book, you can give it a thumbs up. That way I know to find more books like this one. Now let's talk about today's book. Today's book is called The Last Bear by Hannah Gold. And I thought, you know what? If we're gonna spend this time talking about polar bears, it's only fitting that we dress the part. So let's go. And now we can talk about the book. So this is the story of April and her father. And one day April's dad comes to her and says, hey, guess what? We're actually gonna have to move. We're gonna go up into the Arctic. We're gonna live on a remote island called Bear Island. But spoiler, there's actually no bears on this island. So off they go, it's just the two of them. They're gonna live there for six months. April's dad is doing some scientific research. And while they're there, she quickly realizes that her dad's going to be working a lot and she has a lot of time on her own. Then one day off in the distance, she sees this creature that's shaped, she's not really sure what it is. And when she goes to investigate, she discovers that it's actually a polar bear. He is living far from home. He is lonely, he's hungry, and April is determined to help him. And so a friendship begins to form. As the story goes, you get to watch this friendship deepen and develop between April and the bear and what both of them can learn from it and what they both have to give. Now, there are a few readers who I think will really like this story. The first one is kids who love animals. Generally, kids who love animals wish they could talk to them, have them as their friends, and they get to see what that would be like through this story. And so I think kids who are passionate about animals and like stories with animals in them are really going to like this book. I also think this book is good for kids who love survival stories. So even though April's not entirely surviving on her own, she is up in the Arctic with her dad. There are a lot of times where she has to figure out what to do when you can't go to a store and get more supplies, you can't go ask a neighbor or a friend for advice because it's literally just her and her dad. I think this is also good for kids who are passionate about the environment and may be wondering, well, I'm just one person, what can I actually do? I think this book speaks to the message of what each one of us can actually actually do to have an impact on the environment. Now, parents and teachers, if you've been looking for a read aloud for your class or your family, I highly recommend this one. One, it's the right length. Um, there's nothing worse than getting stuck in a read aloud that just goes on and on and on and it consumes a lot of your time. I think it also provides a lot of great discussion questions and there's a lot of springboards for learning different things and so I think that is really helpful in a read aloud. Also, the kids are gonna to wanna to keep turning the pages because you wanna know what happens to April and Bear. And so anytime a book keeps kids engaged like that, I think it makes a great read aloud. So go order your copy of The Last Bear today and happy reading.